Oh, hey guys. Uh, so, you know, it flat out blows my mind that people actually enjoy my content. Like, that has been by far the biggest surprise of this YouTube journey so far. Uh, but, let's see here. Let's see. So, I've had two mentions. Oh, actually three. Three. Three people have brought this up to my attention and asked, asked me for feedback or comment on it. So, I mean, I, got, I was going to make a video anyways, but since you guys definitely want to know, uh, guess I'll, you know, I guess I'll give you my early thoughts. Uh, there's, I will say there's so much up in, up in the air right now. So, like, it, it, it's like the Night Swift merger thing, but, so those who don't know and those who already know, Hirschbach has bought uh, JCT, which that puts them combined as the second biggest reefer company in, in the country, only second to Prime. Uh, that means 3,000 trucks, like 5,000 trailers. Um, I mean, no, I don't know exactly how I feel about that. I mean, I, I'm not as bothered by it as some of our other drivers. They seem to be a little bit more freaking out over some of the stupid things, simple things, like speed govern, right? Like Hirschbox uh, does 68 for their governor, for the each LP guys. We do 70, you're really gonna miss those too? I mean, I guess, but I mean, whatever. Uh, so what do I know so far? No, well, I just told you a couple things, but let's see. Uh, the contract, oh, so Danny is the CEO of JCT right now. He's gonna become the manager, pretty much. He's no longer gonna be CEO, he's gonna be manager. He's gonna be managing it for at least three years. Uh, pretty much he's gonna be president, which is whatever. But he's gonna be the president of JCT for at least three years, meaning I put this in gaming terms for people. He's gonna be Mike Morheim from Blizzard before he left. And like being the t giant shield wall for Activision, you know, be between us and Activision. Same thing. Uh, Danny's gonna be the shield between Hirschbach and us, which I know that's gonna happen. Let's be real here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not unrealistic here. He's gonna. He's gonna. Danny's a pretty cool, cool guy. He's gonna definitely defend the drivers from stupid shit happening. But eventually he's gonna be pushed down. Eventually, like he's he's gonna, it's just gonna happen. He's gonna be like, I can't take it anymore. Just like, uh, which whatever. I mean, that's part of the whole merger shit, anyways. So that means our contracts currently are the same. Now, could they term? Could they do the forced termination type thing? Meaning, where here, here's a new contract. Sign it, or we'll terminate you. Right? Like, like we're terminating the contract, right? Break the contract. Yeah, they could. I mean, that's possible. It is a walkaway lease, so that is technically in their right. Especially since they, they kind of, ah, I get, I don't know. There's some legalities here that could be figured out. But there's ways around that too. They could always keep the leasing because uh, there's JCT, all right, and then there's their three diamond leasing and whatever. And that's who leases the trucks to the drivers. They could separate those. Could. Like, be like Snyder and SFI, that type of thing. That's what I would prefer. Treat, like, the three diamond leasing like SFI. Let me take my truck anywhere, but you know. Uh, so. It's right. For, for so pretty much anything contract wise, uh, Danny wise, nothing changes for at least three years. I mean, my contract's for another four, but I could, they could terminate it tomorrow and has them do a horseback. I could just, I could just piss them off enough. Which I had done a couple times, but I mean, I work hard to they kind of just deal with it. Uh, now, in the next 12 months, that's when things are going to be the same systems. Like right now, I actually just found out they are testing uh, on our, the drivers have been here the longest of tenure. Um, they're testing her, Hirschbox. ELDs, I guess this, which most likely we're still gonna get them anyways, because all same systems simplify things. I mean, same ELDs, 
uh, merge trailer pool. Uh, I could imply, I could imply the cameras. I feel like Danny might force that one away though for at least three years because JCT actually had driver facing camera for a short time before the driver said, "No, fuck you, we're not gonna." No, and it just kept retention was even worse. So Danny might actually step in front of that one because it would affect them keeping drivers and hiring drivers. So that one is eventual, just at least three years probably out. So, uh, short terminals. Out Hirschback right now, they're mostly east of the Rockies, and you know, JCT is west of the Rockies. A lot of our freight is California based, and then I 20, I 30, or not, not I 30, I 20, I 10, I 40, you know, that whole coast to coast down there. Although we do freight everywhere, like we do very, very minimal northeast loads, like handfuls a week, and it's like one to three, like that's about it. Uh, Like I said, there's a lot of information that I also, there might be a, a, a part two of this because I also just found out that there is, there are gathering questions and concerns from our drivers on our end and going to get answers. So I can only speculate based on what I experienced in my past between the whole night merger or yeah, night swift merger. Cause when I, I, when I came up, I got hired on night, that's when things were merging together. So I saw, I saw some things happen, but I, uh, uh, yeah, I guess my biggest concerns are, well, like driver facing camera, because I mean, this is my home. This, I mean, would you want if I go into your house, put it, go into your bedroom and put a camera that faces you while you sleep? No, no. Like, yeah, you hold my curtain. It's like, it's just a whole privacy thing. This is literally my home on the road. It's like my RV, right? It's like, I could have a shitter in here and just because I'm like, this could be my truck, and at least onto you, you could force it on in here. But I can have shit on here, and you could technically see that too. Because I used to always have these curtains open. I used to always have these open. Not keep them closed because my APU is easier to keep it cool back there or hot back there, and you know keeps the cab temperature. It keeps it like room base, room temperatures. Front's either hotter, especially during the summer. Back stays cooler, the front's hotter. So the APU is not trying to cool with fucking two vents the whole fucking cab. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not getting bothered like many people are. It's like, I, yeah, there's a couple small concerns. It's like, like I said, they could for, they could force it to a uh, contract. It's like, chances of that happening at least three years is slim. And even then, I don't care so much because I mean, 12 to 15 months, this truck I'm in right now is being fine. Yes, and I'm going elsewhere. Uh, I'm going to percentage. I'm going to run more up in my home, my home turf. So, I mean, I, I mean, I don't really care about the Northeast or the East Coast. So, I mean, really, it's like most of the loads that you can offer me, I don't give a shit about. Uh, I don't turn down enough loads because, okay, I guess they are for no force for dish badge. Meaning, if you turn down a load, they're not gonna be happy. I don't turn down many loads, but then again, I have it, I have like two things set on my profile, my driver profile that people, the planners and DMs can see. My name is pretty much no East Coast and keep me on nights. Pretty, that's pretty fucking simple. Uh, now, I guess my biggest concern is, for those who have been following me knows that this truck in its first 12 months put on 151,000 miles, oh, 153, excuse me, 153,000. I, I, I already forgot, I, I made that video not even like two weeks ago, uh, or three weeks ago. I, that's my one year review on, the, on this truck. So those that know, those that know, also to be fair, I didn't go home a lot last year, uh, in 21, so, uh, my averages are pretty high for a month. Like there was quarter two and quarter three, I did 82,000 miles. That is absurd. At six months, 82,000 miles, you know, that's 13,000 miles, over 13,000 miles per, per month. Uh, I guess I don't really give a shit about this whole merger thing unless it affects my pay. Now could, 
having to compete with 2,200 more 2,200 more trucks uh, for loads once we start sharing loads. Uh, could that affect my pay? Yeah. Would I be thrilled about it? No. Uh, but, I mean, could I give up like an extra 800 miles? Like, uh, I don't know. Let's, well, let's see. Could I give up an extra like 16 to 2100 miles a month and still be fine? Yeah, because I mean, that would still put me above 10. That would still put me above 11 most of the time. So it's like, yeah. But I mean, would I be happy 2,500 miles a week? No. That's when I would definitely start start throwing a fit. I threw a fit here. Well, when I say throw a fit, I mean I was professionally complaining, inventing, saying, give me more miles. Uh, when I would get pretty much below, like, 28. So it's like, I, I like running. I don't, I don't care. It's like, as long as it doesn't affect my pay, and that's really all people should should care about is don't affect the pay. Uh, no, no driver facing cameras. Like we got one that goes out, but no driver facing cameras. Uh, I guess don't touch our trucks. I guess, I guess. I mean, 60, 70. I mean, whatever. I guess. JTT trucks used to be ungoverned, so then people kept speed, getting speed and tickets, and had a few bad wrecks, and then. They govern that shit. So I mean, to be fair, they already they done fucked themselves already once. Uh, like I said, there's only so much I can tell you right now uh, because it's too it's really too early. A lot of the stuff I know, most of you guys know. I could do a part two on this. I can't. I could do a part two. I'll probably be quarter two sometime. Uh. Because I guess, according to my idea, that's what I was, I was talking to before I made this video, is I guess there's a pay increase coming for JCTs next quarter of some sort. Which, it already got a small pay increase anyways. Like, on the base is now 120 with the fuel surcharge. So, like, like right now, I'm making it closer to 50% of the average rate, which fucking sucks. But, I mean, it was about a eight to $9,000 increase on gross pay on my average running, not like maxing out miles. Like, um, meaning I was doing like 135,000 miles. So, like that's what I was basing all of that on. So like an average gross pay of that. So, I mean, there's that. I just happened a quarter one. So there's, I got another one coming. Um, something else is coming in quarter two. I don't know what's happening. And I, I don't know. Like, I will make sure to do a part two. I will do a part two. Once I know, I will do, here's what I know, some shit, you know, something like that. Saying, going through the questions that I got answered, going through the concerns I got answered. A lot of the driver shit is going on right now. So we're reacting. It's, you know, you know how drivers are. Those who are drivers know how drivers are. They love to complain. They love to overreact. And I understand that people are scared of change. I understand. I, I me, I, I, considering I already went through this once already, I'm pretty easy going to, like, very few things get to me, and even then, it's like, I, just don't fuck with the pay, I mean, I'll pretty much be happy, it's like, that's all it really comes down to, actually, if you fuck, if you want to fuck with the pay, make it beneficial, don't, don't make it worse, yeah, don't make, don't take away the pay, if you're gonna, if you're gonna fuck with the pay, make it better, not worse. Oh, oh, but they are giving us... Okay, so I guess the, there's a bonus Danny is getting that he's giving every single driver that sits here through the closing date in April $1,000. So every time, so thank, thank you for sticking around pretty much out of his own money, which, I mean, that's why I like Danny. Danny's, Danny's pretty pretty friendly, pretty driver-focused. Uh... I guess it came down to the reason why this happening is John, the father, the start of the company, he's pushing 80 uh, and he's retiring. Uh, Danny's brother, uh, I guess Daryl, that sounds right, uh, having health issues and I, I think Danny's pushing 50 himself. So I mean, Daryl's having health issues and having to go for extended periods of time away from the office. And so Danny's been running to get home. So whole self and I Danny pretty much flat out said I need help I, I can't do it myself 
So I guess I gotta understand it from that point of view. I mean, you have drivers calling it calling this shady because like they just oh they just joined like last month and if they had known they never would have joined. It's like this has been in the works since like last December, so uh, December uh, 2020, yeah. So this has been working for a while. Uh, again, I guess it, this had, it was a rush. I guess it took a whole year getting to know each other, talking back and forth, you know, getting on the same page, all that shit. So it's like, I do appreciate that at least. Uh, but, cat's eating. That's good. He, speaking of that, uh, cat is getting definitely getting better. There's been progress on that, but that's his whole side note. Uh, I mean, what does it really say right now, though? It's like, means more terminals, more yards. Granted, there are areas that I don't really care about. Those are really only really two I would probably use. That one in, uh, uh that's outside Dubuque. And then there's, uh, the one in Kansas City, which... They're all tiny yards. The Dubuque seems to be the biggest one. There's one Denton, Texas. It's a joke. It's like it's like it's cramped. It looks like you put like ten trailers there, and that's it. Uh, there's also rumor right now where uh, JCT is looking to sell his Fort Worth yards. So if that's the case, could well, are they about to go half and half on a, on a, yard, a bigger yard for that area? That that would be wise because we have local guys that run out of uh, out of you know Fort Worth. Uh, they run the whole Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas area too. So, and so I mean, we would need a yard for that. But you know, yeah, you know, guys, I will definitely as soon as I find out more, I'll, I'll I'll make a part two to this, call it some bullshit or something like that. Uh, but hey, you guys stay safe out there. Catch you next time. Bye.